Red Alert, Dallas, Texas, Waco, Texas, College Station, Texas, Gulf Shores, Alabama, Orlando, Florida. Those are just some of the major cities impacted by large hail this last weekend. We're gonna do a recap of what all happened and talk to you about what the deployment opportunities are. Okay, so this all started at the very end of last week. The first main day was Thursday. We had a lone supercell developed, not really even forecasted by most of the models. It developed just west of Waco and traveled southeastward, impacted multiple communities before arriving at College Station where it did its most damage. We can see a photo here of near tennis ball size hail taken from the downtown area in College Station. Are there deployment opportunities with this one? Yes, I know of multiple people that are being deployed down to that area right now. So that's one on the list that I can tell you for a fact is needing adjusters now. Now the next day, Friday, was the biggest overall coverage day of the event. Now this was a day we were looking at a few days out for the potential for large hail, but it exceeded all expectations. The warm sector, or the area with warm, moist, unstable air, was significantly larger than at least I had initially anticipated. The computer models a few days prior kind of had it more confined to the Texas area, but basically the entire warm sector ended up being uncapped so that supercells were able to form and basically all of them produce large hail. The largest city impacted on this day was the Dallas Metro. We had multiple storms in the area. Uh, the biggest hail fell on the south side of town. We did have one lone storm go straight up through the middle of Dallas. And then we had a lot of other sporadic hail events in other cities. Uh, Chickasha, Oklahoma got large hail, two plus inch in diameter. Gulf Shores, Alabama, now get this. This storm developed in the Gulf of Mexico and tracked northeast and then basically died right after it hit shore. But right as it hit hit shore, Gulf Shores, Alabama area, Orange Beach had four inch in diameter hailstones. That is a record breaker for that area. I believe there's only one other report of four plus inch hail in Alabama state history. And that was much further north to have it this far south, close to the coast like that is basically unheard of. So there are absolutely going to be gestures needed there. In fact, I got an email today asking about going out to Gulf Shores. So there is a need for that as well. Now, talking about Southern states, it wasn't just a day later that we then had hail in Orlando, Florida. The theme of this weekend was hail, I guess, just in unprecedented places because that, uh, that usually doesn't happen. I mean, they get hail down there every now and then, but usually we're talking, you know, maybe quarter size. I think maybe golf ball has happened a few times, but usually you're not seeing two plus inch stones down that far south in Florida. It's pretty rare. So are there deployment opportunities? Yes, absolutely. If you are trying to get deployed on hail, which by the way is the money maker, everybody talks about hurricanes, but those aren't guaranteed. Hail is guaranteed and it's happening now. And it's still early. We still have a lot of season left. So now's the time to get on it. If you're thinking about, you know, getting trained to become an IA, if you haven't done it now, it's, you know, it's almost too late. You have a little bit of time uh, to get that last minute training in before these hailstorms just start rolling in. But um, currently right now, we're gonna see a little bit of a lull in the severe weather, uh, maybe some lower end sporadic events, but it looks like towards the end of April, beginning of May, we're gonna start heating back up again. So anyways, guys, this has been a red alert update. I'm Max Solson, you're watching Adjuster TV, and we will have a full recap of all the storms of April at the new segment at the end of the month. Thanks for watching everybody and stay safe. This is Adjuster TV.